Previously on Big Crits. Big Crits almost left Senja. It all began with a post from a guy named Velocity. who decided that he wasn't being entertained enough and made a post that he was sick of Senja. He gave a few reasons as to why he wanted to move, and those included the fact that server activity seems low, it's got a low population for recruiting, it's got a bad economy, and, well, we're always in the shadow of premonition. Big Crits is on the Senjin realm in World of Warcraft, and by a lot of measures, we're probably the number one guild on the realm, number one raiding guild on the well realm. If you don't count uh, a little-known guild called Premonition, uh, having that type of competition that close to home is challenging for us. Um, and in particular, if you're going for things like Realm Firsts. We don't want to live under their shadow. We want to go and, and be server for, have a server first presence somewhere. It's not really that unattractive of, of a proposition, right? We could go to another place that has a little bit less competition, uh, at least in the, in the rating scene, and maybe at the same time find a realm that's a little more active. When he made the post, it was in April. So, let's face it, partway, partway through the expansion, the server's dead because people aren't excited, they aren't logging on. They're recovering from the hangover that is looking for raid. They got their fill of purples, and you know what? They want to take it easy. It's widespread, it goes across all the servers. So even if he were to escape Senjin, so to speak, he'd be facing that on another server. On the other hand, Big Chris isn't small anymore. You know, this isn't uh, 2010. You know, we have something, I think someone counted over 200 uh, accounts on Big Crits. It's not cheap to move uh, a character over to another realm, uh, let alone, you know, moving all of your tunes over to another realm. Uh, even if the money wasn't uh, a big deal, you're talking a lot of uh, just leaving of a community that you know. I mean, I've been on Senjin for uh, over four years, I think, so, you know, I'd be leaving uh, a lot of my friends here, too. I don't think that the guild as a whole uh, would survive the change. I think what you would see would, uh, would be leaving a lot of people behind due to either money issues or personal preference, and you'd be jumping into uh, a possible server that nobody knows who you are, so what's the point of them joining your guild to fill in the roles and spots that you may have lost in the transition? We have two threads on the subject. One starting it with him, the other one with an informal poll where people got to say, hey, you know what, this is a great idea, this is a really bad idea. It's got 227 posts. 60% of the responses were not in favor of moving. The people that wanted to go accounted for only 10% of the population. If Big Crits wanted to leave, I'm not sure that I would even uh, be willing to do it. In order to transfer, you need everybody on board. And if you don't have any everybody on board, then it's just going to be a failure. You know, I think a lot of people, once they kind of get set an idea, they're just going to keep going at it, even if there's a lot of evidence against it. If they couldn't get their way of moving the guild, they wanted to move just the raid team. Now, what does that mean, move just the raid team? Let me give you some background on this whole thing. Big Crits has a rank called the Crew. The idea of the Crew, when Stoney established it a couple of years ago, was that it would be sort of a you know, a sort of a separate rating team, or multiple teams even. It would basically be a rank for people who were wanted to be in the guild, either because they had friends here, or because they were interested in the show, or for any other reason. But people who wanted to be in the guild, but either didn't have the skill, or the time, or the gear to run with the main raid team. So there's this big debate, you know, if... Uh, if the main raid team goes, do the other do the other teams stay? And we have this this internal feud between who are main raiders and who are people of the crew, which is uh, you know more of our, our casual uh, raid teams. Who decides? You know, people who who wanted to leave thought that only raiders should be in charge of that decision. I voiced my opinion on the forum about that, and uh, my opinion was that everybody should have an equal vote. Uh, we're all part of the same guild. We all are in Big Crits for the same reason, but apparently other people had different ideas on that, other people had different opinions on that. Dick, 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 dick,
Yeah. <laughs> well, the rest of us thought that's kind of a crappy proposition because, you know, we're part of Big Crits too, you know, the other 175 accounts at all. And this is just one of many things that has driven a chasm between our hardcore and our casual rank. And so the, the thing is that you have some main raiders who just think that the crew is a bunch of baddies and just, just do not give them any fucking respect at all. And in turn, you have a lot of members of the crew who think that certain members of the main raid team are immature assholes and should be fucking kicked just for being assholes. People like just start poking each other on like people start poking each other for no goddamn reason on the forum and in the game and saying, "Hey, look how good I am at this game and how good you're not." Finally, some officer jumps in and says, "We're no, we're not going to do this." Uh, and people responded, "You don't have the authority to make that decision." Eventually, the the, the word did come down and. Kind of made the decision to stay on Senjin, you know, for, for cost and other reasons. Ah, Jesus, you know, a lot of this could have just been avoided. And so we had most of the crew, probably 90% of the crew, just say, I'm out and, and G quit in a matter of a week. Um, a good 20, 25 people of the crew left the guild. Um, even I, I left for about a week because most of my raid team went, and I thought as a raid leader, the best thing to do would be to support my team. Then I realized uh, this is not my place, this isn't the people I necessarily want to be around. Um, I, there was a few of them, specifically you know, two or three individuals that I really wanted to be around, but most of us that wanted to come back ended up coming back. Uh, I was gone for maybe four days. Maybe that was inevitable, you know? As you had two increasingly separate groups within the guild that were drifting apart more and more culturally. The whole situation just pisses me off, right? Because it's 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 selfish. It's it's completely selfish. Uh, I don't I don't know any other way to say it. Yeah, of course it's an attractive idea, but it's basically just considering yourself. You know, I'm pretty upset that that a lot of my friends aren't in the guild anymore, but this isn't the first time it's happened in my law career, so I, I, you know, I'm kind of used to it. And uh, the ones that really matter s stick around, and the ones that didn't matter kind of fizzle off into the darkness, and you forget about them. It's disappointing, right? Because I lose a lot of my friends anyway, and they, uh, and, and nobody wins. After that, all the drama basically went away. And some of the raiders would argue, well, it went away because these whiners and people that were just butt her all the time left. And it's, no, that's not how it happened. The reason that the drama went away was that there was no back and forth anymore. Neither side was completely to blame, and neither side was completely innocent of what was going on in the forums. There's, there's bonds that were broken over the split, and there's still, it's still present as far as I'm concerned, I guess. But. It is what it is, and we're moving on, and, and things are going in different directions, so... Yeah! Why can't we all just get along? In the end, Stepdad Daddy uh, Sark felt that this just wasn't a game for him anymore. And he felt that he was just getting bored, and Dragon Soul was an awful instance, and he just didn't want to play anymore. And so he said, goodbye family, it's been fun, but I just can't handle this anymore, I don't want to deal with this anymore. So he wound up passing it to Juridan, who is our main tank, our prop paladin. I've been gone a few weeks, and all of a sudden this fucking Canadian who can't even do a proper countdown is the GM. I mean, maybe he learned to count if their schools could afford better education, but you know, money's melting in the backseat of the cars. I don't know. He does have one major flaw that I believe needs to be addressed immediately in order for him to continue being successful as a GM and Raider and WoW. And that major flaw is his inability to do a proper pre pull countdown. Now, I understand that Canada uses the metric system. But I'm pretty sure that five seconds in Canada is the same as five seconds here. 
The problem is, I think Jur gets confused whenever he reaches the number two. One in five, four, three, two, one. Hate you so much. Mm -hmm. What? I also hate Jur. I don't care. Maybe we should stop with me. Fuck you. Jur, you need to do a seven second countdown. That way, when you pull on two, it'll be normal. When you reach two in your pre pull countdown, you have a few options. You can either A, pull, B, eat poutine, C, get fucked by a moose, or D, continue counting down to zero. Now, Juridan, I know that A is very tempting, but do not do it. It's a trap, and you will get yelled at. The correct answer is D. Continue counting down to zero when you reach two. So hopefully, hopefully Jordan carries us to the promised land. We'll see.